What's up guys, Zero Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I'm pretty excited about this episode because I've done a lot of work since the last video. Um, put in the hours, found a bunch of blueprints, and today we are going to be building the Cyclops, finally. Which will allow us to dive down to that sunken wreck that sank to the bottom of the ocean. Um, before we get on to building the Cyclops, I want to show you a few new updates to our habitat. Um, I figured out about, um, adding leveling to the habitat, which, I mean, it's kind of not, like, uh, that impressive, but I didn't realize you could do it until just the other day. Um, if we come this way... Let me grab a med kit real quick. I'm a little low on health. I added the bioreactor. And the bioreactor is really cool. Because it, it um, fixed our power issues. As you can see now we're running at 725. Um, and we're no longer running out of power. To use the bioreactor you just grab stuff from the ocean. Whether it's fish or whether it's whatnot, And you put it in the bioreactor. And it uses that to con convert to energy. Um, what else do I have as far as updates in here? I found a toy car, which is interesting. It doesn't seem like it should be on the bottom of the ocean, but it is. Um, and another really impressive, really exciting upgrade is the moon pool. Now, if you guys haven't seen the moon pool yet, it's super awesome. Um, so this is basically to hold your vehicles. Um, as you can see, it also allows you to upgrade your sea moth. And um, while it's in bay here, you can see it says health 56, energy fully charged. So let me just show you how this deploys and... So, it's real awesome. Let's see if I can just swing it around a little bit. Let's see if I can get down one energy cell. And I'm just going to show you guys what, what it does when I redock it. Um, this kind of made the habitat. Um, I no longer have to just kind of exit out and swim into the hatch. You kind of just swim up underneath on your moon pool. And it automatically grabs your vehicle. And it docks it for you. That's super awesome. Now you can see that it says energy charging. It just charged from 99 to 100. Now it says energy fully charged. It doesn't um, take care of the health. You still have to use your repair tool to, to fix it. Um, but as far as the energy goes, that's pretty awesome. Because it eliminates the need to have extra power cells. So now I only carry one power cell with me. So I think that we are going to get on to building our Cyclops here. Um, first, I did get the blueprints actually for the modification vehicle upgrade console. So let's install that um, first so that we can see how we can upgrade. Because I have a bunch of upgrades for the Cyclops already that I found the, the uh, blueprints for. So we might as well just all do it in one kicker. We have titanium. We need a computer chip and wire co and copper wire. So we don't have copper wire and we need a computer chip. So let's get our... Let's see. I've got so much stuff now, it's kind of hard to find. Copper ore. Hopefully we have enough without having to go out. I also recently discovered rubies, which we are going to need for the next episode. Because in the next episode, I plan on building the prawn suit, which is going to be um, just amazing. I don't know what it does, but... Um, I have all the blueprints already for the drilling arms and for all the school, cool stuff that you can attach to it. So 
Um, I'm pretty pretty stoked about that one. So these are going to be an exciting two new two episodes for us here. Um, as you can see, I've renamed some of these lockers because I actually have enough diamonds now where they can have their own locker. Um, silver ore. And let's get on to making these um, vehicle modification upgrades. Copper wire. For the computer chip we need, we do need to run out real quick and grab some table coral, but that's real quick on the ocean floor, so that shouldn't be a problem, table coral. There it is. Actually, I've never scanned these, so we might as well go ahead and scan it. We've got, um, we've got a lot of uh, 65 new, so... That's a good deal. I've been scanning a lot of stuff. I might as well pick up a couple extras so I can show you how the bioreactor handles these things. <clears throat> Now we just need gold, which we have plenty of gold. Almost filled up on gold. Let's get that computer chip built. <clears throat> Real quick, let's see what else we're going to need. One copper wire, so we can use the fabricator. Make that copper wire real quick. All right, so while I'm here, let me show you how the bioreactor works. Take something like, it has to be organic matter, so anything that you find in the sea, and you just switch container, and that is actually what runs the bioreactor. It kind of eliminates the need for any other kind of power sources, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I think that you can only build these in the center of the room. I had to move around a bunch of stuff. Um, as you can see, it's doing a little spinny thing. So, that's pretty much all there is to the bioreactor. I'm just going to run real quick to the scanner room. And I'm going to stop scanning because um, the C-Rex showing up are really bothering me. Hopefully they go away, and they did. So let's get on to building our vehicle modification um, console. Uh, I don't know if um, we went over this in the last episode either, but I have also now added a battery charger, with it, which is super awesome because it charges the batteries. So that works pretty much the same way. You just, you know switch it into there and it charges the battery for you um it goes pretty quick too i must say so that's a pretty necessary thing to have because you don't have to keep rebuilding and building um new batteries and stuff so let's get on to building this um vehicle upgrade console as they call it i'm not sure where to put this um Looks like it can only go in certain place. I'm not sure which is the front and which is the back, though. We'll try it here. I can always deassemble it. Ah, so that is pretty cool. So now we have... It kind of makes an indent in the wall. Here we have... The vehicle upgrade console, common modules, CMOTH modules, 
frog suit modules and torpedoes. Torpedoes, huh? Reinforcement. Energy efficient. Storage. A small storage locker. Sea moth and prawn capable. That's awesome. Sea moth modules. Let's see what we can add to the sea moth module. Depth. Well, that is awesome. Solar charger. And that is even awesomer. Perimeter defense. We need polyaniline. I'm not sure what polyaniline is yet. Torpedo system. And sonar. Prawn suit, we have depth. Thermal reactor. Jet jump upgrade. Wow. And drill arm, which we do have. Torpedoes. Load this to the board vehicle torpedo bay. So overall, these are pretty awesome upgrades, but <clears throat> we're definitely going to install some of these upgrades at a later time. Um, we're not going to do it right now at this moment because our main objective on this one is to get that Cyclops built so that we can go investigate that wreck. So, in order to get this Cyclops built, we got to grab our mobile vehicle bay. And let's check out the ingredients we need to get this Cyclops built. Do, 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 do. Where is the Cyclops? There it is. So we need pl pl plasteel enamel glass, lubricant, advanced wiring kit, and lead. Okay, so we're going to have to go get some stuff for lubricant. And we all know where that is. Let's swim over there real quick. All right, head on back. Now we've got our lubricant. Now I saw in some other videos that maybe the Cyclops allows you the ability to dock your sea moth right in it, but I'm not sure on that. So I'm pretty excited to get this built. We'll get the lubricant built right away. Resources, advanced materials now. Benzene, benzene, aerogel. Okay. Well, that's a new one, aerogel. I think I picked up some kind of sack over here that, yeah, gel sack. That was by the island um, where I got infected. I found it on the ocean floor, so we're going to have to get more of those because I see that Aerosacs are, Aerogel is um, involved in some of the other buildings. So let's get back to seeing what we else we need. Enamel glass. In order to make enamel glass, we need saber tooths. I think we have some saber tooths. We do. How many do we need for enamel glass? We need three so how many tooths does enamel glass take one okay so we should be good on that let's see if we have any glass in here one two we're gonna have to make another glass real quick 
There's our quartz. Bring on the glass. Get one, one, two, three. Now it may look like I have lots of materials. I actually, every time I go out, I pick stuff up as I see it because I just know that I'm gonna need it. The only things that I don't um, regularly pick up are things that I know are common in the area like titanium and um, you know those lubricant um, pods and stuff like that, the coral samples, the stuff that I can get real easy. But anytime I see gold or lead or uranium or quartz i just try to pick it up so i can stay fully stocked it really makes these uh fabricating processes much more easy much faster we got enamel glass we got lead plasti ignon let's see i don't think we have any here let's see i don't remember off the top of my head how to build that Titanium, Igna, and Lithium. So we're going to need a lot of Titanium. I'm not sure that we have enough. We may. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. Okay, so now we have the titanium ignot. Now we need to turn that into plasti. We need three of those, so we're going to need a lot of um, titanium here. I don't think that we have enough. We're going to have to make a quick run. It shouldn't take too long. I can just go to the scanner room. Might as well start that now. Run to the scanner room. And I will start scanning for... Um, Metal Savage. That's the quickest way to get it. We still have to do those upgrades to our salvage room. I mean to our scanner room. Let's see where we're at now. So in order to make the... I need lithium. So let's go get, grab some lithium. One, two, three. Because we need three of those. Okay, so we got one built. Let's see what we got in our inventory. We have lithium. So we are missing something. Uh, we need two lithium per one. This Cyclops is definitely expensive as far as raw materials goes. And let's go ahead and Get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Enamel glass, enamel glass, enamel glass. We don't need to make it. Let's run out and go to our metal salvage. Now 
as you can see, the scanner room is makes things super, super awesome. Really quick to find stuff. There's metal salvage literally everywhere. The nice thing about the metal sa sa um, salvage is that it gives you four titanium to each one you find. And um, that just... So we have one, two... literally everywhere sometimes these beacons can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to follow mm, I didn't grab our thing another downside to um, the scanner room I'm discovering is that is our inventory full? Crap. We're going to have to go back real quick. Actually, we may have enough now because we each one gives you four, four, eight, and that's 12. So we should have enough. I just think that's so super cool. I literally can't get over that. Oops. Sometimes I get turned around in my own base here. I guess I could make some signs that have like arrows that point to which way, but maybe I'll do that on my own sometime. So as you can see, each salvage piece gives you four titanium. So we should have enough now. Let's just see where we're at. We need three of plasteel. Okay. We need two more lithium. Okay, I think we're getting really close now. We just need an advanced wiring kit and lead. We need two gold, a computer chip, and a wiring kit. Okay, so what do we need here? We need a wiring kit, two gold, and a computer chip. But I don't have any computer chips, so we have to build one. That means we need another table coral sample, I think. Yes, we do. So let's run back outside and grab that real quick. It's fairly dark here at night. You can't really see anything, actually. I really got to get to uh, making myself a... Um, flashlight oh, these things fall so fast I'm gonna grab another one just for safety purposes Ooh. 
All right, so now we need... It's so hard to remember all the things that you need for these. Computer chip, copper wire, and gold. So we have gold here. Copper wire, copper ore. We're running a little low on that. Hopefully we have enough. Computer chip. Two gold and a wiring kit. Silver ore and two gold. Where is it? Oh, there's gold. One, two. And silver ore is over here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to have to restock up on my wiring kit. Now we can build the advanced wiring kit. And we are getting even closer now to having our Cyclops. Now we just need three lead. And I hope to God that I have lead because I do. One, two, three. And I think that should do it for the Cyclops build. Let's see if we can get her done. And we do have everything we need. So let's get out there. Let's make sure we still have our mobile vehicle creator. We do. I got to uh, take a quick second to turn off all these salvage points. That is super annoying. Is it daytime? It is daytime, so... Let's go get at this before it gets to be night. I'm super excited about this. Are you guys excited? We have deployed our... Neptune escape rocket. Huh. And here we go. You guys ready? I wish I could give you an applaud, a drum roll or something, but here we go. Let's create this baby. Ah. Uh, always a hold up. All right, let's pack this baby up. I don't know how much deeper we can get from here. This is super deep already. Let's give this a go. Come on, baby, give us our Cyclops. And here we go. Wow, that is huge. So that's definitely not for every day um, driving around. And of course, 
we have to go explore this immediately. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get the full experience. So I'm going to go get my sea moth. And I want to see if we can enter into it with the sea moth. Board Cyclops. Okay, so it doesn't look like you can get in that way. The sea moth. So I'm not sure, maybe. You can't launch your sea moth from the Cyclops, which is disappointing. But you never know, because I have been wrong about other things in this game. Alright, well let's take our sea moth back and then we'll just board that baby and take a little walk on the wild side <laughs> oof oof come on doc thank you so that is like a full size submarine I'm not sure how deep it can go. So some hatch doors open. Wow. So this is like a full size. This is the lower deck it says. Pretty cool opening doors and windows. Shield generator. Okay, so we got our upgrades there. We have power cells, so this does take power cells. And a lot of them, apparently. What's on this side? So we can actually, we have a few upgrades in our base. So this thing is like it's all in one upgrades where does this go to see I knew I knew that there was a way to dock your sea moth I just don't know how to get it in there I guess we're gonna have to drive it down underneath let's see how this thing drives so this is like a floating base we don't even need a base anymore I guess this tells you the hull integrity and stuff like that. There is a fire extinguisher on board. This is some more diagnostic stuff. Wow, that is super cool. I think this just goes down to where you get out. Let's just check. Yes, it does. I just want to close these doors because you can. Leave that one open because we're going to go get our sea moth and see how it drives in here. So there's all sorts of visuals and lights on here. I see now the bridge, which is one of the uh, 
the pieces that you need. And let's go back to our base because we might as well go ahead and grab the upgrades that we already have and grab our sea moth at the same time. Also, I need to get rid of this mobile vehicle. Um, creator and grab the upgrade. So, Let's see, no radio communications. I haven't had a radio communication in a long time. So you can see here we have a few different upgrades and they aren't in here. Let's take this back. Let's put that back. We don't need the copper ore anymore. Titanium, I think we can get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The gold we can get rid of. Goodbye. Copper ore we can get rid of. Goodbye. And the lead we can get rid of. Goodbye. And that just leaves us the basic things we need. So I think that I hid them either in the main locker or in the tool sections. I don't know. They're not in there. Let's see. Where's my tools? Here they are. So we have, I found duffel bags too, I'm not, or carry-alls. I'm not really sure exactly what they do yet. but So I have this. This is the efficiency module. So we're going to take that. And I know I have one more. I have to find it though. Let's see if we can find it. I may have by accident put it in one of the wrong things. Maybe take one more look in here. No, it's not in there. Just going to take a quick look. If I don't find it, we'll worry about it later. I'm guessing that maybe I only had one, but I could have sworn that I had two different ones. I guess not. Well, at least we have one upgrade so we can see how it works for the time being. Let's see if we can't get our sea moth up into our cyclops. Ah, there it is. Is that freaking cool or what? So now I'm wondering now if we can. Well, this tells you what's docked there too. I'm wondering if we can actually deploy launcher open loading tube. Ah, so this is where you can shoot stuff out of, I guess. I didn't see that. Let's save this real quick. I wonder if we can use our habitat tool to actually build stuff in here, um, such as like a wall locker and stuff. And you can. So that is amazing. It virtually eliminates the need for um, even having a base. So 
So let's get on to piloting this thing. Wow, it's all like... Rig for silent running. And this can go 500 meters deep. And it has a compass here. This thing is amazing. Not sure what these things do. I guess that's the speed at which it goes. Yes, it is the speed. Let's see how fast. I think excessive noise we have to worry about a little bit because of... How do you make this thing go up and down is the question. I don't know how to make it go up and down. How do you go up and down on this thing? Hmm. We are going to have to look that one up. Power down. So, as you can see, the Cyclops is really, really awesome. Um, it definitely eliminates kind of, not really, but, um, It kind of eliminates, you know, the need for always going back to your habitat. Because we can put some storage containers in there. And we can upgrade it and we can add weapons to it. And we can take it to kind of any part of the map and launch our... Um, you know, launch our... Uh, our sea moth out of there. So Okay, so I just figured out the up and down. It's a C and space bar. You can float on the surface. No. Oh look at that. There's multiple cameras. That's top camera. What's this? Bottom camera? And drive camera. So that's pretty awesome too. So this thing definitely needs deep water.
Now we are going to dive down deep. And this thing goes really deep. There's actually a section that I have not been to yet or seen the floor because it's been too deep, but now we can get to it. I'm not sure exactly how many meters we are at, but we are now at life pod 13. So, Eighty-eight percent power. So this thing does use a ton of power. All right, let's spit ourselves out. And we're going to take a look at what's in Life Pod 13. Um, there's no sense in really um, getting out our sea moth because disembarks because <laughs> we're too deep to use the sea moth. We got some scanner pieces. Oh, we already have the moon pool. That's okay. I'll take the free titanium. And let's see what we got as far as continuing the story. And I'm going to be really upset if there's nothing in here. So, is there nothing in Life Pod 13? They just um, made us come to it for no reason. Is there anything around it? There's no data box, no nothing. That just doesn't seem right for some reason. What's that one? Life Pod 12. Oh. So we have to go to Life Pod 12 still. I think that's so super awesome. Well, guys, that's all I'm going to do today on Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed the Cyclops series. I'm pretty stoked to have some new adventures in these in our next upcoming um, episodes. So um, definitely stay tuned. Don't forget, if you're liking these, these episodes, to... Um, you know, subscribe and to like the videos. Your support means a lot. And